Hey guys, check this out. My book, Python Tricks, this book here that just came out on, uh, has a paperback on Amazon, is actually the number one best-selling book in Python programming on Amazon right now. And uh, that feels kind of crazy. I Honestly, I was, I was super shocked to see this, but um, it is very cool. So if you bought a copy, then a uh, huge thanks. If you um, bought the early access digital version a while ago, you know, huge thanks again for your support. Huge thanks if you ever sent me some feedback or, you know, told me about a mistake I made in the book. Um, that That's just awesome. You know, it, it, it really helped me get this project out the door and helped me get this um, published on Amazon. And um, it's, it's kind of nuts to see this. So... Yeah, it's actually the number one bestseller in Python programming. And it is also the number one bestseller in programming languages, which is nuts. It is freaking nuts. You know, I, I feel a little bit bad about, you know, just bragging about this in a video, but also I can't really help myself right now. So so bear with me, right? And I am, so th actually this is a book that I really love, uh, Clean Code by uh, Uncle Bob Martin. Um, and I learned a ton from this book and it was just kind of mind blowing to see Python tricks beat Uncle Bob. Uh, well, at least for, for the day or for the week, we're gonna have to see how long, how long it stays up there. But um, honestly, like if you bought a paperback version of this book, thank you so much. You are, you are really awesome. And this is really helping me out a ton. So um, yeah, just a couple of, um, couple of things I want to talk about in this video because I uh, I got a sh I, I got a ton of emails so actually I'm sitting at close to a hundred emails in my inbox right now that I'm uh, slowly working my way through so if you emailed me um, bear with me it might take a while before I can get back to you but I tried covering uh, the top questions about the book uh, because I got a, a bunch of questions you know uh, around availability uh, availability for the book and um, for how long you can still get the uh, the launch discount on the paperback on Amazon and I put together this FAQ and I just wanted to talk about some of the um, yeah some of the the questions here just do a quick Q&A so blah 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 as you can see you know it's the number one programming languages book right now um, are there sample chapters? Okay, so of course, I want to make sure if you're considering buying the book that you have a chance to look at what, um, you know, what you're going to get. So the best way to do that is to actually click through to the Amazon page. And then Amazon has this thing called uh, Look Inside. And um, you, you basically click on the cover for the book. And it's going to open up this viewer here. And uh, that way you can take a look at the full table of contents and you can um, browse around in the book and read a few sample chapters. And this, I think they limited, um, you know, it's only available like once every 24 hours or something like that. I don't actually know. But um, basically you can take a look at the full table of contents and some pages and, you know, just open up a random page and uh, get some sample chapters that way. The other way you can do it, um, I've got a PDF sample linked on my site here that you can um, you can also access and then you can browse through that and get a feel for what's inside the book you know really i want to make sure you get a sense for what the book is about and whether or not it will be helpful um, to you and uh, well another way for you to figure out if this book is right for you is to take a look at the reviews here so there are um, a bunch of really awesome reviews that I'm really, really grateful for. So if you left a review, thank you so much. That's really, really cool. And uh, some of them are really, really in depth. So yeah, I, you know, we recommend that you just browse them. Uh, most of them are actually from people who bought the uh, PDF version for the early access digital, um, digital release. So uh, the content is exactly the same. You know, the, the paperback is based on that version and it's, it's uh, exactly identical. Uh, actually, that brings me to the next question. So the, um, the digital includes a bunch of bonus videos, right? Like some bonus content. And some people ask me, hey, is this included in the paperback version? Um, yes, it is. Absolutely. Because I want to make sure, you know, you're not getting, uh, you're not getting a bad deal if you're getting the paperback. Um, so the paperback includes exactly the same content, it includes all of the bonus content. You'll be able to, to download that 
um, via a special link that is in the paperback version. And you can just go there and then grab all of the content and then you can watch it. You know, there are a bunch of videos, um, actually more than two hours of, of um, videos included with the um, with this book. Uh, most of it is actually based on previous YouTube tutorials that I re-edited and kind of cut out all of the promotional stuff so you can really focus on uh, on the content itself and uh, and some other bonuses. And that's all included with the paperback as well. So, um, oh yeah, what about a Kindle version? So there is a Kindle uh, version available on my website right now. It's the Moby Pocket version that you can buy on my store. It's not available on Amazon yet because I hit a snag there with publishing it on Amazon. It will be available on Amazon, um, if hopefully in a, in a few weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take, um, but it will be available on Amazon. And if you get the paperback right now, I will set up what is called a Kindle match deal. So you can upgrade uh, to the, the digital version, the Kindle version from the paperback and and I'm not sure how, how I'm, you know, what the, what the pricing options there will be, but it'll probably be like a dollar or, or 199 or something like that, you know, where you can add the, the digital version to your paperback purchase, uh, or let's say the digital Kindle version. Of course, if you want the PDF, if you want the EPUB, then you can get that from my website, um, on debater.org. All right. Uh, is this book worth looking at for beginners? Um, well, the way this book is positioned is, um, or, you know, the, who I wrote this book for is uh, the, the idea there is that you're, you're past the absolute basics. So you have a good understanding of the basics of Python, you know, the basics of the syntax. How do you run a Python script? How do you install the interpreter and stuff like that? So it's not a from scratch Python tutorial, but instead it'll help you, you know, figure out all the things that an intro tutorial doesn't tell you, you know, have some, some hands-on tips on um, working with package management and uh, on working with uh, some ecosystem stuff that is related to Python itself, you know, working with the Python interpreter and some of the advanced stuff you can do there. Um, and then also some coding or actually like 90% of the book is coding patterns. You know, how can you um, use advanced features in Python that are maybe not that easy to wrap your head around in the beginning? You know, things like generators, uh, decorators, Iterators. What's the difference between a generator and an iterator? Um, how how can you use these iterators and generators in practice? You know how um, how can you actually use them so they're a helpful tool for your day to day work and are not just obfuscating your code? How do list comprehensions work? Set comprehensions, dictionary comprehensions, and um, it's just covering a a wide variety of these intermediate and advanced level topics in Python that are usually not not talked about, you know, in, uh, in, in a beginning tutorial. I'm also covering some things. So I'm looking at the table of contents here to so make sure I don't miss anything. I'm covering uh, some of the common data structures in Python and how the abstract data structures map to um, the corresponding objects in the Python standard library and in Python itself. So if you're preparing for a coding interview, this information is is golden. You know, if you if you know how you know many of the abstract data types, um, like stacks, queues, and all that stuff, if how they map to Python, how you can use them inside Python, that is going to be very very important if you're trying to pass a um, whiteboard coding interview, for example. And um, well, there is uh, also a chapter on classes and OOP, object-oriented programming. Again, sharing some of my thoughts there. There's a big chapter on using functions more effectively. You know, how do decorators work? What, what are they actually good for? What are Lambda functions? Um, and I'm also touching on some of the, the functional programming topics there. So, for example, um, what does it mean that Python's functions, functions are first class? You know, that, that everything is an object in Python, including functions. What can you do with that? And how is that useful? And how does it actually apply to your day-to-day -day coding? So really, the goal with this book is to give you some actionable, I call them tricks, which is maybe not really the right word because it sounds like something weird that you would do with Python. This is uh, actually a quote from, from one of the Amazon reviewers. Um, but, but really what it's about, it's, you know, the practical hands-on things 
that you need to know if you want to write developer style Python, if you want to take your Python to the next level. And all of this is based on practical experience and, you know, years of writing Python and arguing about the stuff with people online and arguing about it with my coworkers and, and, you know, giving presentations and talking about the stuff, teaching other people how to program in Python. And, um, it's not just stuff that I'm making up. <laughs> so um, yeah, check out the book if this sounds appealing. And if you're a complete beginner, well, absolutely, you know, check out the uh, the sample chapters. Just browse around and see if you can make sense of it. You know, th this book is written um, from like in a very conversational style. And um, actually, I was on a podcast a while ago where I talked more about kind of the philosophy behind the book and, and the making of this book. Then I'm going to put that in the description. So if you want, if you want the full background story and check out, uh, check out the podcast. Um, anyway, and, uh, you know, I think because of that, it is not like a dry technical a technical manual so if you if you're willing to learn you're let's say you're complete or like you know more towards the beginning stage of learning python but you're you're really eager to learn um i think you can you can work with this book you know at the very least you're gonna you're gonna figure out what you don't know yet and then you're gonna be able to go and kind of read up on the missing parts and then make progress that way you know so in, in a way i think it's also a good roadmap on how to go from beginner in python to intermediate level and beyond that. So, so yeah, that sounds appealing. Check out the book, get the print copy on Amazon. Um, do, do, do. Okay, what do we got here? Talked about Kindle, talked about the bonus content. Oh yeah, so a bunch of people reached out to me and said that the Amazon link that I shared, um, it actually 404s. And the problem there is that um, the book isn't available yet on all of the Amazon country specific stores. So it is available right now on amazon.com, Amazon Canada, Amazon Co UK, Amazon Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. And it, the way I understand it, it should actually also come out on Amazon India, Amazon uh, China, uh, Amazon Brazil, Amazon Mexico, Amazon Netherlands, and Amazon Australia, like basically all of the country specific stores. Now the problem with Amazon is that it's kind of opaque. You know, I was under the assumption that, well, this would just magically happen because I'm actually printing the book through Amazon as well. Um, and I, I was under the impression that it would just magically appear in all of the stores. The problem is there's kind of a two tier system to these stores, you know, you have, or actually three tier system. So you have uh, the amazon.com store that includes the Amazon Canada store. And they're kind of, you know, they get the book shows up there the quickest. Then you have the European stores somehow excluding the Netherlands store, which I don't really understand why, but that's lagging behind a little bit, um, that get the book next. And then you have the uh, extended distribution channels, which includes you know Amazon Gi uh, China, Amazon India, and, and all of these stores. And um, it takes a little longer for the book to reach these other publishing channels. So the, well, what I heard from Amazon is that it can take up to eight weeks for the paperback to be available in these extended distribution stores, um, which um, which is not great. Unfortunately, there isn't really anything I can do about that. You know, I really had to move forward with the launch because you gotta act quick. You know, when the book is available, you kind of want to give it the most momentum, um, and um, so that that's what I'm doing right now. You know, that's that's why I'm promoting the book right now, and. Um, the way I understand it, it is going to go, it's going to be available on the Indian and the Brazilian stores and, you know, all of the other ones. And um, it's just going to take a little bit longer. I'll see if I can, you know, figure out some kind of uh, a deal there as well. Um, the pricing is kind of opaque on Amazon as well. You don't really know actually what your book will be priced at. So, for example, right now they're actually discounting it below the target price that I set. Um, oh, well. It's Amazon. Um, anyway, I'm still grateful for them. You know, it's it's awesome to get the visibility through their store if you if you if your book ranks. So, um, not complaining here. Um, oh yeah. So the next best thing I can offer you at the moment, if you if you can't get the paperback, you can get the digital version on my website. And I've got a link here, and you can kind of click through here and you know read more about the book, learn more about the book and then get a digital copy that includes a PDF and EPUB version that you can read on your tablet and, you know, computer anywhere else. Um, all right. 
So, oh yeah, how can I get the launch price? Because the discount doesn't seem to do anything. So again, the way I set this up, I just priced the book lower this week on Amazon. And then um, actually tonight, I'll just raise the price. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to to go into effect. Um, everything seems to take around like 24, or 24 to 48 hours. So I'm just going to trigger that today. And then the book price is going to go up to 29. Uh, 29 us dollars and uh so yeah so if you want to take advantage of the 33 percent launch discount then get the book right now just get the paperback right now on amazon and you can take advantage of the discount so it's not a discount that's specifically called out because that doesn't work that way with amazon but um it's just a lower price and you know in a few hours it will be more than a third or it will be, you know, more than 30% higher. So, so that's how it works. All right. Well, I think I covered everything. Um, if you have a question that I haven't covered, then just tweet at me, um, email or leave a YouTube comment and I'll, I'll do my best to help you out. Like I said, kind of backed up with emails and stuff at the moment, but uh, I'm working hard to get that resolved. All right. So if you bought a copy, thank you so much. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, Get it now before the price goes up and uh, happy pythoning.